Hi, I'm Jason Norris, and this is On The Go FM. And on this episode, I'm talking again about one of my rules for podcasting. These are the rules I try to follow and I teach to other podcasters. I'm a podcast consultant, a podcast editor, and I really love talking about ways you can make your message mobile with a podcast. Rule two is next. Previously, I said rule one in podcasting is your podcast, your choice. If you haven't listened to that episode yet, stop this and listen to it first. It is a freedom mindset that you really need to embrace on this podcasting journey. So seriously, make sure you stop this now. Listen to rule one first. It's crucial. It's critical. It's fundamental. Okay, here we go. Since you know that your podcast means your choice, now it's time for the second rule in podcasting. Your choice, your consequences. Every choice you make in your Rule 1 Freedom has consequences. You can say anything you want to say in a podcast. It really is your choice. But the consequences may mean you get criticized for what you say or how you say it. If you choose to be profane, potential listeners might not listen. If you present ideas that are not accepted by someone who stumbles across your podcast, you might find harsh comments in your posts and in your tweets. If you just say, subscribe to my podcast, there will be some people who think subscribe means it costs money. Yes, that's for real. If you only ask people to subscribe to your podcast in Apple Podcasts or iTunes, you will turn away a lot of potential new listeners who use Android phones. If you constantly ask people to rate and review your podcast in iTunes because it helps people find your show, those that keep up with podcast news will find it annoying since reviews don't boost your podcast to the top of the new and noteworthy. It hasn't worked like that in several years, if it ever did. And not to mention, iTunes was rebranded as Apple Podcasts a long time ago, at least for the iPhone app which is where most people are going to be listening to your podcast. Oh, about the microphone. Yes, you can record with any microphone. It is your choice. But consequences might be poor audio quality that makes your podcast hard to listen to. If you choose to use the built-in mic on your laptop, your audio quality might cause potential new listeners to skip your podcast and go subscribe to somebody else. If you use only the telephone like you would in an office conference call, audio quality will definitely turn away many, many listeners. On the other hand, if you buy a $300 microphone without learning how to use it properly, you'll have less money for other podcasting gear or training, and you will still turn away listeners who like to listen to podcasts with good sounding audio. Your podcast, your choice, but your choice, your consequences. And here's another one. Yes, you can store your MP3s in a lot of different places. It's your choice. But consequences might be if you upload all your episodes to your main website, and if there are too many downloads, your web host might just shut down your entire site even if your web host claims to offer unlimited bandwidth and storage. You can choose a free media host for your podcast episodes. However, when the company is unable to pay their bills because they didn't charge you anything, they may shut down and then you will lose your podcast. Editing. Now, this is a big issue. You don't have to edit your podcast. Absolutely not. You know why? Because it's your podcast and your choice. However, your choice can lead to some consequences. And the consequences might be that your overall audio is so low that people can't turn up the volume loud enough to even hear you, especially if they're listening in a car or on the bus or in the subway. Also, you may have audio that's really, really quiet in some spots and super loud at other times. And people might get 
tired of constantly having to change the volume while listening. And then eventually they just, they give up and they decide to stop listening. If you don't edit, some potential listeners will get frustrated with the many rabbit trails, inside jokes, and talk about the weather. When those things have nothing to do with what you said you would talk about in your podcast, or at least on that particular episode. If you put your voice completely to the left channel and your guest completely to the right channel, as it might kind of make sense that this would be a fun way to do things, some people might get a headache if they try to listen to it. I know I do. And others won't hear the whole conversation since uh, they only listen with one earbud, especially while they're at work. Also, if you encode your audio file at too high a bit rate, your audio file will quickly consume all the media storage that you have for the month, and uh, and it will take much too long for listeners trying to download your show to their cell phones. It is your choice. Yes, rule one in podcasting is true. It's a freedom mindset. It encourages you to explore your freedom because your podcast means your choice. But rule two is true, too. Your choice, your consequences. So choose wisely. And by the way, if you need any guidance in making wise choices, contact me. I'm a podcast consultant, podcast editor, and I love talking about different ways that you can make your message mobile with a podcast. You can find me at jasonnorris.com. I'm Jason Norris. Thanks for listening to another episode of On The Go FM.